Good evening and welcome to the annual Salina High School Academic Awards Ceremony. This evening we have the opportunity and privilege to honor a number of our finest students. We will give 154 awards to 48 students. 55 different families or organizations will be presenting $101,000 in scholarship money to this year's graduating class. Students, as we call your name for an award, please use the steps located in the middle of the stage and accept your award at center stage. Ladies, if you endured Kristen's advice not to wear heels, please be careful on the steps. <laughs> Without further ado, I would like to introduce Mrs. Erica Dreis and Mr. Dave Scott, who will be giving the team's award. For many years, Salina High School has entered the engineering competition called TEAMS, where TEAMS stands for Test of Engineering Aptitude in Math and Science. The students are individually selected by their math and science teachers based on which science and math classes the students elect to take, as well as their academic performance in those classes. Other criteria used in the selection of these students includes the ability to work cooperatively with their teammates and think creatively and inventively about how to solve complex problems. I will now call forward the 12th grade students from this year's event to receive their certificates. I would ask that you please hold your applause until the entire group has reached the stage in alphabetical order. Joe Baltel. Cast and Eichen and Art, Brian Heinrichs, Maya Lockwood, Nathan Melendrez, Megan Morden, Jordan Uther, Shelby Sinclair, Kendra Truesdale, and Grant Weck. Civic Foundation for the Ethan James grant that provided the majority of the financial support again this year. Thank you. Next at the podium will be Mr. Aaron Bowser with the Social Studies Award. On behalf of the Salina High School Social Studies Department, my honor and privilege to present this year's Social Studies Student of the Year Award. The award goes to a senior who has taken at least four credits of Social Studies and has demonstrated superior academic performance, high character, and has exhibited a passion and enthusiasm for subject matter. My colleagues and I uh, personally observed these qualities, these many qualities, in our awardee over the last four years. We witnessed curiosity, enthusiasm, respect for peers and faculty, integrity, and initiative. Virtues that we try to emphasize to our students every day. This is the kind of student who possesses a genuine interest in the world beyond, one who poses profound questions and makes insightful observations. From my own experience, I can attest that our awardee was a pleasure to teach every day, each and every day. It is always gratifying when our department comes to a consensus on choosing a student who merits this special recognition. Despite a tempting array of excellent candidates, we did so. It is with great pleasure for me to announce our selection for Social Studies Student of the Year, Ms. Taylor Mauer. Science Awards. This is Michelle Langmeyer. Good evening. Um, I'm going to be presenting the, the myriad of different classes and the family consumer sciences entails 
different com combinations of classes, so um, bear with me. The first one is going to be a student who is a senior and is uh, getting an award for um, Outstanding Healthy and Safe Foods. And this student is going to apply her knowledge in foods and nutrition into the nursing profession. And this is uh, Ms. Stephanie Tincture. And while Stephanie is here, she's also, um, I get the joy of seeing her quite a bit through the years, so I enjoy students like that. She's also going to be receiving the award of Managing Life Transitions as well. <laughs> Another student receiving the Managing Transitions uh, Award in Family Consumer Sciences is Maria Lutz. Another award that I'm going to give, and um, Mrs. Carol Bader, this is on her, and she and I also are the yearbook advisors, which I want to put a little commercial in. If you've not purchased a yearbook for your senior, please do so. Um, we are not ordering any extra, and you can get, you can order them online at the school um, website, or we have the order forms at the media center. So this year, our editor and our senior who's working very hard to make this a quality, outstanding yearbook is Ms. Mo Thomas. <laughs> Another award going to a senior is a senior who is new to the Salina School District but came in and um, was just a joy to have in class and really made a mark on Salina High School and he's getting the Career Search Award and that is Kyler Bourne. And finally, um, I teach child development, and we have a young lady who was, was in the classroom, and not only was exemplary in the classroom, but when we went out and worked in the primary school, um, the teachers there could not get enough positives to tell me back how well she worked with the students, and that's Avia Sargent. <laughs> Next, giving the English Awards are Miss Katie Goodall. chairperson from 1968 to 1983 who touched the lives of innumerable students, faculty, and community members. So we give the Carolyn Bear English Excellence Awards each year to students freshman through senior year. In her memory, um, would the following students please come forward to receive their senior year awards, Jordan Muther and Taylor Maurer. Coached boys basketball for one year, 
softball for 20 years, and served as athletic director for two years. For several years, Mr. Feth um, spent countless hours managing the print shop after school and during the summers. Feth also served as junior class advisor for 12 years. However, his real passion was the future business leaders of America Club, which he um, advised for 32 years. Mr. Feth re retired from Salinas Schools in 1998. A few years ago, the business department initiated the Bill Feth Business Achievement Award to honor Mr. Feth for his many years of dedication to the students of Salina High School. Selection criteria for the, the award is an interest in accounting, number of business classes completed, overall grade point average, character, plan to pursue post-secondary education in business. The recipient of this award will receive a plaque. His name will also be added to the plaque located in the entrance area of the high school on which all former award recipients are listed. This year's recipient is Mr. Ethan Kirby. students who have demonstrated exceptional academic achievement and performance in physics and <coughs> sports physiology. Recipients of these awards have their names engraved on plaques that are displayed in the main lobby. The Arthur Elam Science Award, named after a former Salina High School science teacher, has been given every year for the past 47 years. It is given to a select 12th grade student enrolled in physics during the current school year. The recipient also stands out among her peers and consistently performs at a superior academic level. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's 47th annual recipient of the Arthur Elam Science Award is Taylor Mallory.
the Mick Davis Science Award is in its sixth year. Mr. Davis was a science teacher at Salina High School from 1985 to 2008. He was very influential and well respected for his teaching, but was equally respected and influential as a coach and athletic trainer. He was a pioneer in high school athletic training, developing a one-of-a-kind high school course to train Salina High School students to take care of our own athletes. This award goes out to the top two sports physiology students. This year's recipients of the Mick Davis Science Award are Kaylee Godwin and Brooke Robbins. This time, the athletic department of Salina High School will honor seniors that have earned all WBL academic honors. These senior student athletes must have a 3.75 or higher cumulative GPA and must have earned a minimum of four varsity letters. These senior award winners should please come forward. Please hold your applause and we'll recognize them all once they've reached the stage. Maya Lockwood, Emma Lutz, Logan Mullenkamp, and Grant Wagner. Okay, again, this year there will be $100,000 in local scholarships awarded to selected members of the class of 2019 by 59 different families and organizations. I know I speak for the students, parents, and faculty of Salina High School when I sincerely thank all of the scholarship presenters for their time and generosity. If you receive a scholarship this evening, please stay after as some presenters would like to take a picture of their recipients. Mr. Herschel will be presenting some awards tonight on behalf of families and organizations who are unable to attend. The first scholarship to be awarded is the American Legion Scholarships. Our first scholarship is the American Legion Scholarship. Presenting this award is Becky and Ron Fetters. The scholarship is given to assist students in furthering their education. The amount of each award is $500, and the recipients are Emily Braun and Madeline Lukey. Our next award is the Sons of the American Legion Scholarship Award. We are awarding these scholarships for students to pursue an education at a two or four year school. The amount of the award is $500. Presenting this award is Mr. Rick Poppy, and the recipients are Logan Binkley, Brett Schwederman, and Chase Stevens. Scholarship. This scholarship is given by the auxiliary to assist students in furthering their education. The amount of the award is $500. Presenting this award is Becky Fetters, and the recipients are Kaylee Godwin, Maddie Caney, and Maya Lockwood.
Our next award is the Salina Athletic Booster Club Award. This award is given for money raised at the annual golf outing, which is held in August. Presenting this award is Mr. Joe Hoying. The amount of the award is $500, and the recipients are Emily Braun, Brooke Robbins, Brett Schwederman, Kyle Stein, and Michaela Winning. Our next award is the Salina Athletic Booster Club Vicki Bruggeman Memorial Award. Vicki was a member and past officer of the Booster Club and a volunteer at the golf outing. This money is funded with money from the annual golf outing. The amount of the award is $1,000 and the recipient is Noah Schrock. Our next award is the Salina Athletic Booster Club Dean White Memorial Award. Mr. White was a teacher for 13 years and head basketball coach for 10 years at Salina High School. His 147 career wins rank him number one in school history. This scholarship is funded with money from the annual golf outing. The amount of the award is $1,000. Presenting this award on behalf of Dean's children, Kristen Kearns and Mr. Kyle White, is Mr. Joe, Ho or is Mr. Joe Hoyne. And the recipients are Cast and Eichenau. Our next award is the BGU Award. An annual golf event is held as a memorial to Dan Beckstedt, Steve Grimes, and Don Ullenhake. This scholarship is awarded to Salina student athletes planning to further their education. Presenting this award is Kate Grimes and Karen Ullenhake. The amount of the award is $950, and the recipients are Kasten Eichenauer and Brett Schwederman. Our next award is the Salina Athletic Booster Club Don Ullen Hake Memorial Award. A 1978 graduate of Salina High School, lifetime Bulldog, and avid supporter of all Salina athletics. One of the founding fathers of the Booster Club outing to raise money for Salina High School graduating seniors. This scholarship is funded with money from the annual golf outing. Presenting this award is Karen Ullen Hake. The amount of the award is $1,500, and the recipient is Madeline Lukey. <laughs> Our next award is the Chris M. Reichert Memorial Scholarship Award. Chris Reichert, a 1975 graduate, was an outstanding athlete not only for Salina High School but also for Heidelberg College. He's been inducted into both the Bulldog Hall of Fame as well as the Heidelberg College Hall of Fame. Chris passed away unexpectedly on February 24, 2013. To honor his memory, this scholarship was established by some of his friends. Rather than have students apply, the recipients are secretly nominated by their coaches. Chris's determination and work ethic put him in a class above others. You've been chosen for this award because you display many of the qualities Chris possessed. The amount of the award is $500. Presenting the award is Mr. Joe Hoyne, and the recipients are Bailey Exman, nominated by Coach Kenzie Rushton, and Chase Preston, nominated by Coach Brennan Bader. Our next award is the Esmond Family Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in honor 
of the memory of Ken and Chloe Esmond and their son, Ken Esmond II, who passed away in a car accident in 1996. The amount of the award is $500. Presenting the award is Mrs. Carol Hone, and the recipients are, and the Ken Esmond Award is Logan Mullenkamp and Sarah Judy, the Chloe Esmond Award, Emma Lutz and Bailey Exman, and the Ken Esmond II Award is Mr. Parker Maurer. Our next award is the Bruce A. Stroll Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in honor of the memory of Bruce Stroll, a longstanding teacher and coach. It provides scholarship funds for deserving Salina senior high school students pursuing further education at a two or four year college, university, or technical school. The amount of the award is $1,000. Presenting this award is Ray and Valerie Kramer, and the recipients are Brett Schwederman and Madeline Lukey. County Civic Foundation Salina Scholarship. Awarded to two Salina graduating seniors with a 3.3 GPA or higher, students must have attended Salina High School at least three years. This scholarship will be awarded yearly and it is from an anonymous donor. The amount of the award is $5,000. Presenting this award is Carol Hone from the Mercer County Civic Foundation and the recipients are Joe Baltzell and Graham Gower. award is the Eastview Park 3-on-3 three -three Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 1992 with the proceeds from an annual basketball tournament. In 2003, an anonymous donor made a generous donation to this fund, which will further extend the life of this scholarship. The award is given to a deserving student for university studies. The amount of the award is $500, and the recipient is Maddie King. is the Paul H. Morbin Scholarship. The recipient must have won a varsity letter in basketball and be a member of National Honor Society. Paul Morbin graduated from Salina High School in 1929. The amount of the award is $1,000 and the recipient is Brooke Robbins. <laughs> Our next award is the Dewey and Ruth Dawson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by bequest in late 1992 in memory of Dewey and Ruth Dawson, lifelong residents of Salina. The scholarship is for continuing education. The amount of the award is $500, and the recipient is Caleb Sewer. Our next award is the Betty Dabble Memorial Scholarship. The Dabble Scholarship was established in 1995 because in memory of Mrs. Betty F. Dabble, a longtime Salina educator. The award is given for continuing education. The amount of the award is $500, and the recipient is Shelby Sinclair. award is the William and Patsy Dawson Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 2000 by Bill and Patsy Dawson, both highly respected educators in Salina. To carry on their dedication to education, this memorial scholarship is awarded to a student majoring in elementary education, veterinary studies, or nursing. The amount of the award is $1,000, and the recipient is Chase Stevens. <laughs> Our next award is 
the John and Ruth Houts Scholarship. John and Ruth Houts were successful dairy farmers, department store owners, and hardworking Mercer Countyans. They chose to give scholarships at each county school, and their legacy will live on for years to come. The amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipient is Megan Morton. Our next award is the Paul and Helen Meyer Memorial Scholarship. Salinians Paul and Helen Meyer wanted to give back to the Salina community and establish this scholarship in their names with two awards given yearly. The amount of the award is $3,000. This year's recipients are Maya Lockwood and Kasten Eichenauer. Our next award is the Salina High School Class of 1959. Established by an anonymous donor in honor of the Class of 1959, this award goes to two students with strong academics. The amount of the award is $1,959. <laughs> and the recipients are Maya Lockwood and Grant Wagner. award is the Marion F. Abrams Memorial Scholarship. Marion Abrams, born in 1909, faced great challenges as she achieved a long and successful IRS career, noting the struggles of pursuing careers in fields previously occupied only by men. She established this renewable scholarship in 1995 to encourage students to pursue careers in the fields of math, accounting, and business, with qualifications including strong academic performance, financial need, essay, and personal interview. The amount of the award is $5,000, and the recipient is Kendra Truesdale. <laughs> Our next award is the John Schulte Scholarship. The late John Schulte established this nursing scholarship in memory of his wife, Alice, who was a caring nurse throughout her life. The amount of the award is $1,000, and the recipient is Noah Schrock. Noah. Noah. <laughs> Seriously. Parker and Margaret Snyder Nursing Scholarship. Margaret Snyder, originally from Saskatchewan, Canada, was the only one of her family to study beyond high school. She received her nursing degree at Manitoba and worked at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. She eventually took a position at Salinas' former Otis Hospital as one of several Canadian nurses to settle in this area. She met and married Parker Snyder and raised four children. The scholarship is in memory of Margaret and her successful career in nursing. The amount of the award is $1,000 and the recipient is Noah Schrock. Our next award is the Scholarship for Humanity. Provided by well-respected retired educator Phil Wong, this scholarship is for graduates pursuing social work, education, gerontology, mental health counseling, etc. The amount of the award is $1,000, and the recipient is Kim Gladhill. Scholarship. Three scholarships are awarded by the Lakefeld family yearly to students in the Mercer Ogles County area with intended study at college level in agriculture in memory of Paul Lakefeld Sr., Paul Lakefeld Jr., and Rosemary Lakefeld. The amount of the award is $1,000 and the recipient is Kasten Eichenauer. award is the I.W. Pogue Memorial Scholarship. This is an annual memorial scholarship given to a student to pursue post-secondary education. The amount of the award is $2,000, and this year's recipient is 
Logan Mullen here. Our next award is the Jeanette Gilmore Vocal Music Scholarship Award. This scholarship memorializes Jeanette Gilmore, a music enthusiast and choir participant. Salina students involved in vocal music qualify when planning involvement at the college or community level. The amount of the award is $500, and presenting the award is Mr. Carl Gilmore. This year's recipient is Jasmine Thies. Freedom Support Organization honors veterans and active military personnel and their families with a $500 scholarship given yearly to one student in each of the Mercer County schools with a parent or sibling in the armed forces. This year, there will be two awards to Salina. The amount of the award is $500. Presenting the award is Mr. Monty Beagle, and the recipients are Branson Miller and Madeline Lukey. given to a son or daughter of a member of the Salina Education Association. The amount of the award is $400. Presenting this award is past CEA president, Mr. Dave Scott. This year's recipients are Kim Gladhill, Grant Wagner, Logan Bentley, Parker Maurer, and Lauren Coverley. Our next award is the Salina Firefighters IAFF Local 2603 Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an individual going into a public safety or medical field. Presenting this award is Kane Swaney, Matt Schlaughter, and Dane Doiner. The amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipient is Noah Schrock. Salina Auxiliary Firefighter Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an individual going into a public safety or medical field. Presenting the award is Steve Worcester. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipient is Kaylee Godwin. Our next award is the Salina Rotary Scholarship. Each academic month, two students from grades 9, 10, 11, and 12 are selected as Rotary Students of the Month by Salina High School teachers and administrators. Each year, four of these seniors are chosen to receive one of the four $2,000 scholarships. Recipients display strong community service throughout their school careers. Presenting this award is Ms. Deb Hemmelhorn. The amount of the award is $2,000, and this year's recipients are Kasten Eichenauer, Joe Baltzell, Lauren Coverley, and Jordan Euler.
Our next award is the Greater Salina Area Soccer Booster Club. The Booster Club runs the Salina Middle School Soccer Program and hosts a youth soccer tournament every year in the fall. Presenting this award is Mr. Doug Stein. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Emily Braun, Bailey Exman, Maddie Keeney, and Maya Lockwood. Our next award is the Grand Lake Area Soccer Association. GLASA is a nonprofit organization for the betterment of soccer. Presenting this award is Mr. Brian Cox. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Jimmy Kino, Emily Braun, Maddie Kane, and Maya Lockwood. Our next award is the Glen O. Heyman Memorial Scholarship. As an educator, Glenn Heyman recognized the importance of continuing education beyond high school. Each year, in his memory, a senior planning on furthering their education has been awarded a scholarship from a fund that is supplemented by the interest that accrues and by monthly donations from the staff of Salina Schools. Presenting this award is Mrs. Amy Hoying. The amount of the award is $1,000. And this year's recipient is Lauren Coverly. <laughs> Our next award is the Immaculate Conception PTO Scholarship. The Immaculate Conception Scholarship awards students for their continued involvement with IC school and church involvement. Additional personal achievements including clubs, clubs sports, grades, and volunteerism. We judge on the well-roundedness of students that education at IC positively influenced them personally, spiritually, and in school life. Presenting this award is Megan Haney. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Rachel Olberding, Madeline Lukey, Emma Lutz, and Noah Schrock. Our next award is the Grand Lake Health System Family. The $1,000 scholarship is held by the Joint Township Hospital Foundation and is given each year to six area seniors from Salina, Walpock, New Bremen, New Knoxville, and Minster who are pursuing their education in any allied health field. The donor is anonymous and is someone who has interest in helping students meet their goals and receiving a college education. Presenting this award is Bruce Swanger, the Joint Township Hospital Foundation Board Director, the amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipient is Emma Lutz. <laughs> Our next award is the Salina Kiwanis Organization Scholarship. Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world, one child and one community at a time. We look forward every year to awarding these scholarships. We have had an exceptional year and are able to give one $1,000 scholarship and five $500 scholarships. Presenting this award is Linda May and Dawn Hewer. This year's recipients of a $1,000 scholarship is Emma Lutz, of a $500 scholarship, an IC graduate, Noah Schrock, $500 in honor of Joyce Jansen, Maya Lockwood. $500 in honor of Gloria Rogers, Caleb Seward, $500 to Haley Seacrest, and $500 to Lauren Coverley.
Our next award is the Friends of Bruce Stroll Memorial Scholarship. The Friends of Bruce Stroll Scholarship is in honor of Mr. Bruce Stroll. Bruce was a highly respected teacher and a coach at Salina for 30 years. Presenting this award is Mr. Mike Keene. This year's recipients of a $500 award are Kasten Eichenauer, Grant Wagner, Maddie Caney, Logan Binkley, and Brooke Ross. Our next award is the Linda Caney Memorial Scholarship Award. This scholarship is awarded in memory of Linda Caney and is for a student who plans to enter the healthcare field after graduation. Linda passed away from a rare form of bile duct cancer in 2016, and this scholarship honors her legacy and her love for our school and our community. The amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipient is Maya Lockwood. Our next award is the Mary M. Pogue Memorial Scholarship. In the 1940s and 50s, Mary Pogue invited all senior girls from Mercer County to her home where university women from the area shared college experience with the girls. A scholarship has been established in her name. Presenting this award this year is Mr. Clinton Hirschfeld. The amount of the award is $1,200, and this year's recipient is Michaela Winning. is the Medical, Educational, and Development Foundation of Mercer Health Scholarship. In 1992, the Med Foundation Scholarship Program was created to help support the selection of careers in the healthcare profession by offering scholarships to graduating seniors from each of the Mercer County schools who are pursuing an education in healthcare. Based upon qualified candidates, at least one scholarship was awarded to a student from each of the six high schools in Mercer County. Scholarships are awarded based on evaluation and assessments to meet future health care needs. The scholarship program is funded by the Esmond Home and Golf Outing, held annually in June. Due to the success of the golf outing in recent years, as of tonight, the Med Foundation has been able to provide additional scholarships to even more local students. Since the inception of the scholarship program in 1992, 263 scholarships have been awarded, totaling $279,950. This year's recipient, I'm sorry, presenting this award is Deb Hemmelgarten, the Med Foundation Director, and this year's recipient is Maya Lockwood. Our next award is the Mercer Savings Bank Art Scholarship. The Mercer Savings Bank has been supporting Salina High School students who have excelled in visual art with financial assistance for the past 36 years. Presenting this award is Mr. Tim Bigham and Amy Sutter. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Macy Thies and Cassandra Berkey. Our next award is the Salina Moose Lodge number 1470 scholarship. The mission of the Moose is to strive for excellence in four areas, a fraternal program and community service, to provide a family environment and education for underprivileged children in a residence at Moose Haven, Florida, and to promote membership growth. Presenting this award is Mr. Dave Archer. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Maya Lockwood, Kane Muller, Noah Schrock, 
Madeline Lukey, Parker Maurer, Emily Braun, Kaylee Godwin, Sam Warner, Ethan Piper, and Dalton Smith. Our next award is the American Red Cross High School Scholarship. The Red Cross awards this money based on the amount of units donated throughout the year at our student blood drives. This year, Salina High School collected 159 units and earned a $1,000 scholarship from the American Red Cross. The students receiving this award have demonstrated a positive and strong work ethic in their years at Salina High School. They've been involved with the student blood drives, and we from Salina High School thank you for giving. Presenting this award is Mr. Quentin Hirschfeld, and the recipients, uh, the recipient of a $500 scholarship is Ethan Piper, and the recipients of $250 scholarships are Madison Short and Emily Braun. Side note, um, any of our donors that have donated at least three times in their um, high school experience receive a red cord to wear for recognition at graduation, so congratulations. Our next award is the Spec Shots Scholarship. Beginning with the Salina High School Photography class, Spec Shots owner Don Speck has become an Associated Press award-winning photographer. As a way of giving back to the school and community where it all began, he has established two scholarships to be given to one male and one female student planning to continue their education at the college level. Presenting this award is Mr. Hirschfeld. The amount of the award are $500 each, and this year's recipients are Haley Segrist and Joe Baltzell. Shelley Company Community Scholarship Award. The Shelley Company represents, or I'm sorry, the Shelley Company presents scholarships to students throughout the state of Ohio who demonstrate excellence in both academics and community participation. Presenting this award is Mr. Dale Matthew. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipient is Lauren Cover. VFW Auxiliary Post 5713 Scholarship. The VFW Auxiliary awards a scholarship to a senior pursuing higher education. Presenting this award is Mr. Kevin Mallory. The amount of the award is $500, and this year's recipients are Cassandra Berkey and Emily Braun. Tommy Turnipseed. The late Tom Anderson, who served as the finance officer of our local VFW Post for many years, started the Salina VFW Post 5713 Scholarship Program. Tom helped set up the scholarship program anonymously through the name of Tommy Turnipseed. As one of the fundraisers, Tom would sell turnip seeds, thus the name Tommy Turnipseed. <laughs> this marks the 34th year we have been presenting awards to graduating Salina High School seniors. VFW Post 5713 is pleased to announce that we were able to award 19 $500 scholarships to graduated Salina seniors. The amount of the award is $500, and 
Presenting these awards are Commander Kevin Hageman and Quartermaster Gerald Mort Ward. I'm here. <laughs> All right. This year's recipients are Lauren Coverly, Kimberly Gladhill, Maya Lockwood, Madeline Lukey, Emma Lutz, Parker Mauer, Branson Miller, Ariel Musgrave, Rachel Olberding, Noah Schrock, Haley Seacrest, Dalton Smith, Caleb Sewer, Kendra Truesdale, Grant Wagner, Kasten Eichenauer, Megan Morden, Logan Binkley, and Emily Key. Our next award are the Eagles Scholarships. The Eagles presents numerous scholarships to Salina students every year, with this year being no different. Three Salina students were selected to each receive three different scholarships, all sponsored by the Eagles. The scholarships included are the Fallen Eagles, the Ladies Auxiliary, and Aries 1291. Presenting this award is Mr. Clinton Hirschfeld. The amount of the award, the total amount of all three scholarships, is $1,550 per student. Recipients are Maya Lockwood, Emily Braun, and Ben Lappin. Educational Scholarship. Bev was one out of ten children raised by hardworking parents that taught her the meaning of hard work, family values, perseverance, and resilience. Even after losing four of her fingers in a work accident, she continued to work at Huffy Corporation for 28 years. Being a teacher had always been her dream, but she didn't get her start until almost 50. She loved learning and sharing her knowledge. October 2016, she was diagnosed with stage four glioblastoma brain cancer. She fought hard for two years. She was so much to so many. But most of all, she was and is a reminder that life is short, so follow your dreams. Presenting this award is Sophie Morris. The amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipients are Caleb Sewer and Bailey Axman. is a brand new award for Salina High School. The name of this award is the Angels of Childhood Cancer Foundation. The Angels of Childhood Cancer Foundation was started in 2016 by Michael Longer and his wife Diane to help families financially that have children with cancer. The purpose of this scholarship is to reward seniors that have battled cancer, are graduating high school, and going on to college. We award two $1,000 scholarships to area seniors. Presenting this award is Mr. Michael Bonger, founder and president of Angels of Childhood Cancer Foundation. The amount of the award is $1,000, and this year's recipient is Rachel Old.
this point, this concludes our scholarship uh, presentation. So how about a nice <coughs> round of applause for all of us? And again, as a reminder, stick around. I know a lot of these folks would like to have pictures of the recipients. Okay. At this time, it's my honor and privilege to introduce the top five academic students of the class of 2019. Kendra Truesdale, would you please come forward? Kendra Truesdale is the daughter of Holly and Jason Truesdale. Throughout her high school career, she has enjoyed being part of the, of the marching and symphonic bands, chamber choir, autumn plays, and spring musicals. She also participates as a member of National Honor Society and teams. At the end of the school day, she volunteers her time at the middle school as part of FTA, as well as serves Salina YLA as president after the school day. Currently, she works as a page at the Mercer County Library. She is graduating fifth in her class with a 4.049 GPA. Some of her awards include top five ranking class all four years. She was Rotary Club Student of the Month. Her writings were published in the Request Magazine. She was a National Bosch and Law Award recipient. Kendra will attend Wright State Land Campus in the fall. Her intended major is Bachelor of Science in Mathematics Education. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kendra Truesdale. Travis and Paula Lutz. Emma has been active in volleyball, basketball, and track, along with being involved with student council, vice president of FCCLA freshman year, public relations officer of the National Honor Society, she's a member of the prom committee, and the WBL sportsmanship committees. Emma is graduating ranked fourth in her class with a 4.083 GPA. Some of her honors include first team all WBL honors in track and field, WBL honorable mention in volleyball, a Scholar Athlete Award, Child Development Award recipient, her ninth grade year, a Math Student of the Year, her junior year, Spanish Three Student of the Year, her junior year. Emma plans on attending Ohio Dominican University in the fall to continue her education and athletic career. She will study pre-dentistry and run track. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emma Lutz. <laughs> Jeffrey Gramza. Her high school activities include mock trial as a witness and attorney, pep band, jazz band, marching band, symphonic band, National Honor Society, in book club, scholastic club, in your book club her freshman year. She's been a part of teams for two years. She was a solo and ensemble contest for three years, a youth leadership association service coordinator, and a 4-H secretary and president. Lillian is also an active member of her church youth group. She has worked five mission trips throughout the country and in Puerto Rico. Lillian rode horses for seven years with her 4-H club and enjoys playing flute and bassoon in band. She plans to attend Valparaiso University in fall with an undecided major. Some of her awards include Rotary Student of the Month, Junior Mass Student of the Year, Outstanding Witness, Outstanding Attorney, Allen Scholarship, and a Presidential Scholarship. Lillian is graduating third in her class with a 4.068 GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, Lillian Grimsley. Lockwood, 
is the daughter of Jeremy Lockwood and Kendra Boggs. Her high school activities include varsity soccer for four years, varsity track for two years, National Honor Society for two years, TSA teams for two years, Bethany United Methodist Youth Group for four years, the prom committee for eight years. Maya has been an active member of her youth group and assisted in various activities throughout her high school career. She led vacation Bible school groups, participated in Christmas caroling, and volunteered at the Miller House. Maya has also been actively involved at the high school. She worked in the office for two semesters, volunteered at the Giving Thanks Dinner, was on the homecoming court, and has tutored several students over the past couple of years. Maya was a varsity captain of her soccer team for two years, and she served as the treasurer for the National Honor Society. Her awards include Rotary Club Student of the Month, Honorable Mention WBL for Soccer, Enriched Geometry Student of the Year, Biology Student of the Year, Sophomore Math Student of the Year, Carolyn Bear English Excellence Award, French Two Outstanding Achievement, WBL All Academic Team, AP Chemistry Student of the Year, and the Honda OSU Math Medal recipient. Maya will be attending Ashland University next year to pursue a degree in biochemistry on a pre-medical track. Currently, Maya holds a 4.10 GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2019 Class Salutatorian, Maya Lockwood. Grant's bio is still fairly wet with ink. I think it just made it in just <laughs> the water. All right. Grant is the son of Eric and Debbie Wagner. His high school activities include National Honor Society for two years, class officer for two years, teams competition member for four years, student leader at Fellowship of Christian Athletes for three years, football for four years, he lettered twice, baseball for four years, he lettered three times. Outside of school, Grant has played roller hockey since the age of four, competing two years in a state wars competition representing Team Ohio. He's also been involved in his youth group as well as both Salina and St. Mary's Teens for Christ. Grant is employed at Bud's Chrysler in Salina as well as at CrossFit Craig. His awards include the top five ranking class all four years, Rotary Club Student of the Month, German Student of the Year in 2016. Grant plans to attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University in the fall, where he will play baseball. Grant is ending his high school career with a GPA of 4.07. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we recognize Salina High School's valedictorian for the class of 2019. <laughs> tonight's awards ceremony, I would like to give a special thanks to a few people. The Salina teachers for educating these fine students, the scholarship presenters for awarding the seniors, the students for their hard work, and most importantly the parents for all you have done in shaping the young minds we have honored here this evening. I would also be remiss if I didn't thank Mrs. Tammy LaRue for organizing all of these scholarship pages to make this so easy to, to pull off here this evening. So this concludes our award ceremony. Thank you again for your attendance and have a great remainder.